welcome to the daily devotional for today, Friday, 6th November 2020. Our topic for today is God thinks about you. Our Bible reading is taken from Psalms 139 verses 17 to 18. And it says, How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Where I count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Our memory verse is taken from Psalm 40, verse 5. O Lord my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If you tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them. Hallelujah. Yes, God thinks about you. That's our topic for today. Indeed, he does. He thinks about you. He cares about you. He loves you. You are important to him. You are top on his mind. I know sometimes you may be going through some challenges, some issues that may make you wonder, is God really there? Does he really love me? Is he really thinking about me? Some issues like ill health, some issues like, um, you know, job issues, issues at work, or even sometimes some people, they may not have jobs and then they could make them, it would make them wonder if God is really there. Some other challenges like marital issues, some people might be single, some people might um, be seeking for the fruits of the womb and it may take years and years and years and in those years they, could, they wonder, is God really there? Does he really love me? Does he really care? Sometimes you'll be asking God for something may be, be believing for something and um, it may take a while there may be different reasons there may be reasons for the delay it may be that it's not the time for you to have that thing that you really desire it may be that um, God just wants you to pass through a certain process prepare you for the future and there are certain things you would have to go through that he will allow happen for you to be ready for the next stage in life so I want to encourage you today if you're concerned, if you're worried, if you're thinking that God doesn't care, please put that thought aside. It is not your truth. It is not your reality. Your, your reality is that God loves you. Your, your reality is that he cares for you. And the Bible makes us understand this in the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. And it says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. To give you a future and a hope. Another version says to give you an expected end or to bring you to an expected end. God loves you. He cares for you. No matter what you're going through, remember that as long as he loves you, you are in his thoughts. Just imagine how you love your child, you love your husband, you love your mother, you love your father. You know, when you're away from them, you think about them. They're always in your thoughts. When they go out, you think about them. In fact, some people, you know, go as far as putting their children in crashes where they have cameras so that they can see them from wherever they are. So how much more your father in heaven? How much more your father in heaven? Who loves you so much that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for you? That is the ultimate love you can ever get from anybody. And he loves you more than anybody on this earth could ever love you. So each time you're down, each time you're worried, each time you're concerned, always remember that God loves you. Always remember that you are in his thoughts. And in his own time, he will make everything in your life perfect. In his time, he makes all things beautiful. This is what the Bible tells us. And in your situation, he will make everything beautiful. So I encourage you today, hold on to him, hold on to his love, have faith in him, trust him for everything that you need and everything that you desire. And he will definitely come through for you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.